Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to prepare and eat cherimoya. Now this is a cherimoya and it's also called a custard apple. Uh, you, it can also be called cherimoya with an I. These guys look awesome. They are a, such an interesting fruit. They look like little dragon scales on there. But some of them, they have a wide variety of these cherimoya and some of them have little pokey um, little pieces that come off of them like little fingers um, and then some of them have the flat ones just like this. They smell amazing. Um, they, you want to get them when they're green like this. If you allow the whole skin to turn brown then they're going to be inedible for you. You don't want that. Also you do not want to eat the seeds. You don't want to crush the seeds or anything like that. They're not good for you. But the flesh of this fruit is amazing. I'm just going to cut it in half to show you. And it's got these beautiful seeds, which I'm going to try and um, propagate myself as well. So that's what it looks like inside there. And it's it's quite firm, um, maybe a consistency of maybe a pear and a papaya, a ripe, ripe papaya. If you let this go a little bit um, further uh, to the skin, where it's a little bit more squishy, that's when it's more custard kind of um, texture. So it's also called the custard apple, right? For that reason. So. Now these are indigenous to South America, to places like Ecuador and Peru and Colombia. They were grown in the Andes Mountains through Central America. Also they can grow in Puerto Rico, Florida, Hawaii, you know, those nice tropical areas, as well as, you know, parts of South Asia and parts of Africa and Australia. Mmm, they smell so good. Look at that. They're so gorgeous. So I'm just going to pop out a couple of these seeds because you don't want to eat those. And I'm just going to scoop out the flesh with a spoon because it's quite soft. So you're just gonna pop those seeds out. There's quite a few of them in each um, each cherimoya. And what a gorgeous flavor. To me, it has a flavor of like mango and pineapple, banana. Mmm, they're just amazing. Now Mark Twain said something to the effect of, that this is the most tastiest fruit known to man. Um, of course, I'm paraphrasing, I don't know it exactly, but mmm, absolutely delicious. And he might be right. That is such a delicious fruit. Oh, it's sweet. It has a nice amount of vitamin B6, it ha has vitamin C, it has riboflavin, and it also has quite a bit of fiber. These are fantastic. Now, you could use this for fruit salads, you could use this for smoothies and beverages. Um, mm. Mm. But to me, it's the best just eating it just like that, scooping it out. Look at all these seeds. Very cool. If you've never had cherimoya before, you're going to be really upset because you're going to be upset you've missed out on it your whole entire life. This is an absolutely delicious fruit. You could add this to any kind of ice cream or sorbet you're kind of making. Oh, these are awesome. The kids would love them, adults would love them, and this is what they look like. So get to the store. Don't be afraid of all these gorgeous fruits that are coming in from all over the place. Uh, they are so worth trying. Uh, if you like them, that's awesome. If you don't, so what, right? Just one of them. Just buy one and see if you like it. You're going to like it though, I promise. I don't really think it tastes um, apple-y or anything like that. Some varieties are much sweeter, some are much tannier and citric, and acidic sort of flavor, right? Beautiful though. This is nice and sweet and quite creamy and quite, it's actually quite filling too, but don't forget it has fiber in it. So that's how you prepare and eat cherimoya. Simple to scoop it right out of the skin. You don't need to peel it or anything like that. You would cause yourself extra drama for no reason. So just scoop it, the flesh out of there and remove the seeds for whatever you're going to use it for. Just make sure there's no seeds in there. Okay. So that's it. That's how you prepare and eat cherimoya. You're going to love them. Try them out. Love this. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly. And I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.